Today's video is going to be about left hand technique and I'm going to help you relieve tension in your left hand so that you can fly up and down the neck and so that you can also play with more um, fluidity. Also, we're going to get rid of tension in case you've been getting hand cramps and that sort of thing. So first things first, most of us have either played this way or are still dealing with this or um, you know someone that does this. A lot of us grip the back of the neck by pinching with the thumb and we, we squeeze with the thumb and we think that that is the way that we actually want to hold the strings down. If you're doing this, hear me out and I'm going to give you a good case as to why we want to get away from squeezing the neck in order to compress strings, um, especially with fourth finger, um, and why we want to transition to using arm weight and how we can go about doing that. Okay, the first thing, whenever you squeeze anything, whenever you grip, that creates tension. What tension does is it doesn't allow for yourself to be as fast and as swift as you possibly can be. Um, in fact, if you were to try to grip the neck, now try pushing your hand down the neck. If you're gripping the neck, you'll notice resistance, right? Now, what if you were to rest your hand on the neck and then kind of let your hand kind of sink down like you can kind of see how my cello wobbles. I'm actually letting my left hand sink down. Now try to move your hand. Much smoother. Again, if you try to grip and squeeze, that actually is going to make it harder. And you can kind of feel some tension in your forearm, maybe even the back of your arm, where we're running the risk of getting cramps and reducing our efficiency in situations where maybe we're playing in front of people and we're anxious. Well, guess what? If you got tension, your body's just gonna run away with it. And if you've played a concerto and you've been nervous and you've gotten tense, you'll know what I mean. Your hand just kind of kind of gives up on you. Um, so we want to avoid all of that and we wanna step into performance situations confidently. We want to play swiftly and we wanna play for long periods of time without getting tired, right? So what I wanna do is show you a quick technique um, that I've come to enjoy if I'm feeling like I just can't exert my left hand uh, arm weight. And I will say that my right hand arm weight does come a lot easier for me. So my left hand something I have to work at. Um, with my left hand, I like to rest my, well, at first I make my fist, uh, my hand into a fist and I rest my hands on my cello kind of near where the fingerboard ends. Then I'll breathe and exert that arm weight downward. And you can kind of see my cello buckle this way. You want that. You want the cello to kind of go into your knee a little bit. Just breathe. And if you find that your seating position, like right now I'm kind of noticing that the uh, edge of my cello is digging into my knee, just a simple adjustment will fix that. That can actually kind of highlight some sitting, sitting issues you might have in your uh, sitting position. So just kind of go with it. You really want to adopt this, this feeling of being one with the instrument. So... Breathe in, breathe out, and sink. Okay, and you don't have to compress the strings here. It's actually kind of hard here because you have a lot more tension right here. But once you have some sort of arm weight accumulated, then bring up your hand. And bring it up and bring it up, and you should kind of see I'm actually compressing the strings. Now, what you don't want to do is press. So if you have to raise your shoulder, maybe do some of the arm weight exercises. Um, Check out my last video where I talk about getting rid of stress. I kind of give you some, a couple techniques in the middle of it. You can kind of fast forward to the middle of it. I kind of go into some of this stuff and it really does help you use your arm weight. Um, but anyways, as we go up the neck, if you are able to keep the strings compressed while not raising your shoulder or your elbow, that means that you are actually letting your, your hand uh, sink your arm weight into your neck, right? And then from there, we kind of want to make our way kind of where E is, E on D string. You stick out your first finger, and then I try to maintain that arm weight, and you'll notice there's resistance on the string, and I'll move it towards E. I have a lot of arm weight here, more than I would typically use, but I want to explore just how much arm weight I can put down so I know how much I can get away with releasing. Okay, so now my E's down, and I'm going to play my E, make sure I'm in tune. It's a nice clear note. Notice my thumb is up. I'm not pressing. I'm really letting my arm sink. Another important thing, this finger, all of your fingers, you have to build structural integrity into your fingers. Notice that. 
no pancake fingers, right? In fact, I've been playing for a while now. It's actually hard to get my, my hand to uh, do this or my, my finger buckles forward, but a lot of us will play with pancake fingers mostly because our arm isn't high enough and our wrist isn't straight. The left hand wrist you want straight, the right hand wrist you do want this T-Rex wrist kind of thing going. So you really do want your wrist straight. You want your fingers structurally integral by having an arch and let that arm weight sink down. And then bring in second finger. Again, thumb is kind of floating up here. Then third, then G, fourth finger. All right, and thumb, we don't typically play this way. Thumb will rest behind second finger, but we'll get to that in a second. When I'm in this position, um, there's actually some exercise uh, books that I can link in the description that have some of these uh, interesting exercises. In fact, I can even link the IMSLP link. If you haven't heard of IMSLP, it's a website. You can get tons of free uh, material for all different ranges of instruments, mostly dealing with classical music because it's all out of copyright range. But I'll link something in the description if you'd like to take a look at it. It deals with left hand. Um, but what I like to do is I like to build the fluidity in my hand um, by getting away, and this is another thing, you don't want to move your finger up and down with the muscle, with, with, with your finger muscle, with your finger muscle. See, there I go stuttering again. You want to move the wrist almost like you're twisting a light bulb, okay? So again, I'm in this position. I'm going to twist the wrist and allow my fingers to do such as that, and I'll show you what I do. And um, obviously you don't have to slur, you don't have to take it that fast. In fact, new beginners, I'll just have them go. The important thing is that you're twisting your wrist as your fingers are coming down because you want to utilize that arm weight. The arm weight is there for you to use. A lot of us choose not to use it and in place use muscle. But again, muscle is not nearly as reliable as our gravity is, as arm weight is. Because again, it's constant. It's always being used whether you know it or not. And it's always there for us to use. So it only makes sense to allow gravity to pull your fingers down just by manipulating your, your arm through your muscles. Like, don't get me wrong. When I say don't use muscles, I don't mean like your hand plays by itself like, ooh, a ghost arm. It's not like that. It's you're manipulating the gravity, your arm weight. And I say those synonymously, using your muscles. Your muscles manipulate your arm weight but you'd never want to replace your arm weight with muscles. Right arm, left arm, um, even sometimes, I, I notice cellos when we're nervous, we tend to like squeeze our, our knees together. Um, you really wanna sink our, our, our feet into the ground by letting gravity kinda just sink us. Like, it's an all-encompassing thing when you're playing. Um, because again, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, to sink into the ground connects yourself with your body and it connects yourself with the motor engrams that your technique has then put you through. So uh, let me explain. When you learn something, you ever heard of muscle memory? What we're doing right now is we're, we're doing muscle memory. Like it's stored up here, but it's really understood down here, right? When you don't connect to your gravity, to your arm weight, you kind of do this floating thing where your muscles kind of start just going up on their own, your knees, your feet kind of go up on their own. Like you see people playing on their, on, on their tiptoes, they're nervous and they're not grounding themselves. So when you don't ground yourself into your body, into the floor, your technique escapes you because you start losing all of the motor engrams, the muscle memory that you've been developing up until this point. So it's important to utilize arm weight in all facets of playing, but back into the left hand. Keep doing this exercise. And then try doing on different strings, because you'll notice that the different, and I'll talk about this in a different video, every string has a different plane in which your arm weight is manipulated. So on A string, your arm weight 
is really great because of the leverage of your arm having to go up a little bit and you actually have to move your shoulder up just a little bit. Um, but when C-string comes down, your shoulder's all the way down and your arm weight can really get away from you because you're just like, you can get that big bovine fart sound if you just let your arm weight truly sink in. So you have to lift up just a little bit. So, But when you're here, you wanna go ahead and get used to how it feels to play here. Once you kind of get a good feeling for that, then move to a different string and try it on all different strings because again, you want to build reliable uh, motor engrams on each different string because your fingers will basically do the same thing, but you'll need to uh, adapt them ever so slightly. Um, do, playing cello, playing violin, uh, viola, bass, you're dealing with very, very small, minute uh, margins of error. So it's just good to kind of get a feel for everything. So even try it up here. Again, keeping the fingers arched. go fast you can go slow but anyways that's my favorite way of building up my arm weight technique in my left hand building up speed um, if you want to see some of my playing you can follow my Instagram um, and the Haydn concerto I play a little bit up uh, of it on there and in order to get this passage the all that stuff you really have to be able to relinquish your arm weight or sorry relinquish your muscles and instead choose for arm weight. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna get cramped and you're not gonna be able to get the speed up. Arm weight also allows you to play way faster than you would be able to if you chose to grip. So anyways, that's all I have to show you. I hope that this finds you well. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to do me a video on something else in the future, please do. And once again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.